Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Today we're gonna to be cleaning and decorating my dining room for fall. So I thought I would just share what the space looks like without any seasonal decor and just the pieces that I keep year round in this space. So I'm just gonna start with this buffet hutch. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the distressing on it and the beautiful cream color. And I picked this up a few years ago just at an antique shop. And I love that it was a piece that's obviously been redone. And I just think it looks beautiful in this space and I love to decorate seasonally on top of this. I'm just gonna start by laying out these beautiful greenery pieces. I did find these this year at the Mercantile Shop and they were $16.99 a piece. So I'm just gonna intertwine them together to make a long garland. And I think it looks really beautiful and nice and full. And I couldn't find a garland that I really liked. So I just made my own piece. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful and you couldn't tell that it wasn't a garland in my opinion. And once you join the pieces together, it just fills up the space perfectly. This little wood stool was from HomeSense this year and I bought this in the spring and I thought I would use it in this space just to add a bit of height. And then I'm gonna add this mini wreath that was also from the Mercantile store and it was $12.99. And then to that, I'm gonna place a pumpkin on the top of it. This is one of my flameless flickering candles and I just love these, especially if I'm placing it near a lot of decor pieces and I don't wanna have to worry about a fire hazard. So I just laid this little Michaels stand and they have those year round and they're fairly inexpensive. And to that, I just added that candle. And then I'm also gonna place this wheat. If you watched my haul video, I just found this um, a few weeks ago or last week actually from Winners and I just love this piece. I was hoping for two so I could flank this piece but they only had one but I think it looks really beautiful and because I added some height on the other side with the stand and pumpkin I think it does balance the space out really nice. So I found these beautiful lights this year actually on the weekend and I fell in love with them. Um, the store had them on a fireplace display already for Christmas and they were just twinkling and I thought they were just so nice and bright. I usually use twinkle lights but I have really thin strands. This was a bit thicker, the strands were a dark brown color but I just love the glow that the lights gave off. So I'm just gonna wrap this around the greenery and the pumpkin candle and wheat and and then we're just gonna build on top of that. These twinkle lights were actually $16.99 and then they were 20% off. And they're actually very long. The strands are quite long. So you get a lot of value for your money. And I think I'm actually gonna go back and get a few strands because I think it would look beautiful to have one on top of the fireplace or even in a Christmas tree when we start doing that. So I was really happy with this purchase and I just thought they gave off a lot of light. And what I liked also about them is that they're plug-in. A lot of the stuff I have currently is battery operated so I find I go through so many batteries so I was really happy that this was a plug-in light source and I just love that warm glow that they give off. This ribbon was from Michaels this year in the fall decor section and it was 50% off originally $12.99. And I thought it would be really pretty just to tuck this in and layer it on top of that green garland and the twinkle lights. And it does help conceal the brown um, cord light. So I really liked this and I thought it would just add a bit of dimension and texture to this um, space. So I'm just gonna wrap this and tuck it into the greenery just as I go. And I think it just adds that perfect little touch and I just love the look of twine and this burlap material. I find it just looks really rustic and fall-like.
So now that the ribbon's placed, I'm going to actually go in and just trim the ends. I like to dovetail them. I just think it adds just a finished look to the space and it makes everything look polished. So I just did that on both sides. These little cream pumpkins were from Canadian Tire and I just got them in an assorted bag and they had different sizes and colors. So I just wanna add a few of these just to fill in a little bit of space. So I added these bigger cream ones to the ends and then I'm just gonna fill in with a few smaller pumpkins in the middle just to add some more texture to this space. I just want to show you the various settings that you can use on these lights. They have, I believe it's eight to 10. And I really liked when they were on this one, the twinkling, the light twinkling one. Some of the settings are a little bit more aggressive and I don't know if I would use them because they are just so bright. But this was one of my favorite settings. It just looks so beautiful in the evening when it's twinkling. And I was really happy with how this display turned out. It just added that perfect cozy touch to the top of this buffet. This little letter board I've had for a few years now, and I believe it was in the Christmas section at Winners, and it was around $5.99 or $6.99. And it is quite small, but I think I'm gonna add it to the wreath above the buffet. And I just like to add a little touch of something usually in the wreaths that I do put up. I had a Hello Pumpkin sign that I originally was going to put in that space, but I thought the color was a little bit too bright for the muted look that I'm going for. So I thought I'll just spell out Hello Fall and just attach that to the wreath. So I'm just using some twine just to hang this on the eucalyptus wreath and I think it just adds a nice little touch there and I like that the black from the letterboard sign ties into the black um, on the wall sconces so I think it just ties in everything nicely in this space. Moving on to my glass dining room table, I'm just going to add this beautiful table runner. I've had this for a few years, but I thought the colors tied really nicely into the fall decor. And then I'm going to add these placemats. Um, I really like the gray neutral color, and they also tie into my gray sectional couch in the adjacent room. So I thought these were really beautiful, and I like that they can easily be cleaned with a wet cloth if they do get dirty. These wood chargers were a purchase this year from Michaels. And like I said in a previous video, they were $3 each. And I just love that warm wood tone that they bring to the space. These leaf plates were also a new purchase this year from Winners and they were $14.99 for two. And I'm just gonna lay these on top of the chargers and I just love that beautiful teal color. I find it can be hard to find in plates. So I was really happy to find that this year. And then I'm also going to, on the heads of the tables, um, these are actually dish towels, but I'm going to use them as napkins. So I had bought in a set of two and they just have some leaves and acorns on top and I'm just going to tuck them under. And I think once the edges are tucked under the charger, you can't really tell that it was a tea towel. And to that, I'm just going to add this beautiful pumpkin bowl. I'm just gonna do the same thing now on the other side. And I think this turned out really beautiful. It would have been nice to find three sets of two so I could do it on every dish, but that might have been too much. So I think this was the perfect touch. And to this side, I'm gonna add a leaf bowl. 
this flower centerpiece I had on my table throughout the summer, but I thought I could revamp it and make it look more fall-like by adding a few picks to it. So instead of having to buy something completely new each season, I think it's also fun and to challenge yourself to make something a little bit different. So I'm going to start off by adding some of these little fairy twinkle lights to it, and then we're just going to layer on some more pieces and we're going to transform this piece into a fall decor item. This pick is from Michaels. I just love the dried oranges on it and it's that muted nice orange color that I am using throughout the space. So underneath the flowers is actually foam. So it works out well because you can add anything to this and just tuck it in. And then that other piece is also from Michaels. So I got four picks and I believe they were around $3 each with the 50% off. And I'm just gonna layer those in on top of the twinkle lights. My sister actually gave me this beautiful gold leaf and I just love how it glistens so I thought I would just add this to the middle of the centerpiece. And then I wanted to fill in the space a little bit more, I thought it looked a little bit sparse so I'm just adding a few more of those pumpkins from Canadian Tire. So I think this piece turned out really cute and I know you can still see some of the white flowers but I think everything does work really well together. It's all those soft neutral colors and I just love the wood base of this. It just ties in the whole room together nicely. So I was happy that I decided to just revamp this instead of buying a new piece all together. And then I thought I would just add this gather sign because it is a dining room table and that was a purchase from Michael's last year. And then I just came in with these black candle holders with again my flameless flickering candles just to add that cozy glow. I wanted to add some beautiful glasses to this dining room table but I was having trouble finding some amber ones and that's really what I wanted to add. And when I went to Winners I had this beautiful set of four for $14.99 and the glasses are very big actually um, so I only did buy four. I think six would have been too much for the table set. So I just wanted to add those and they just add that nice touch for fall. This blanket ladder was $24.99 at Winners and that was found this year and I couldn't believe the price actually because I've bought another blanket ladder and it was close to $100 so I just added a simple garland to that. And then moving over to this table, I'm just going to give it a wipe down and I'm just going to add this pumpkin, this wood pumpkin with the F that I hauled last week as well as just a little leaf. This um, table is actually from Ikea and I got this when we moved into our house so about five years ago and it's a beautiful piece, it's held up well and I just like that it's behind the couch and I can just add some decor to this throughout the season. So I wanted to give this a good wipe down and then we'll just start laying our pieces on top. I'm going to go in with these lanterns and I love to work with these because you can use them throughout any season. And these ones were from Michaels actually, it's a set of two. And to that I'm gonna add this pumpkin and then also just a few more little pumpkins.
And if you watch my channel by now, you know that I love these twinkle lights. These are again my Costco ones that I've used in multiple videos. I did end up changing the batteries because they were looking a little bit dim. I find you do have to change them a lot depending on how often you have them lit. And I do like to light them every night. So usually about once a week, I do have to change the batteries on them. But I just love that cozy warm look they give off. And then to this lantern, I'm going to again add a little pedestal from Michaels. I love those because you can just add um, some height to different things. And I was just trying to finagle this little gourd <laughs> into the lantern. It was quite large, but I did manage to get it in. And I just like the look of this. Instead of doing candles, I just wanted to add something a little bit different. On this side, I thought it would be really nice to add my little new three-tiered basket. And to the top, I'm just going to add this Hello Fall little wood pumpkin. And then I'm just going to go in with some greenery. And this just ties in the greenery that we used on the buffet server. I just wanted to fill in the space a little bit more so I thought I would just use a napkin to add a little bit more to this middle basket and to that I'm just going to add one of my new pumpkin bowls that I had and I just love this one. I think this one's my favorite one. It's just so nice and simple and to this I'm going to add a little napkin ring. I got that also at the mercantile shop this year and I believe it was only a dollar but I thought it would be cute for three tiered stands or baskets just to add a little bit more color and texture to the space. And then that final bottom basket, I'm just gonna go in again with a little bit more greenery and then um, a different leaf bowl. So I used that one on the table as well, but I did buy two packs of three. So I had some little bowls to play with and I think they're just a perfect little touch to this three tier basket. So I wanted to keep it simple under this table because the rest of the room does have quite a bit of decor. So I just added this wicker basket with a pillow and then I just draped some wood beads um, in the basket for some more texture. I had two cream pumpkins left over from my decor so I thought I would just add one to either side of this basket just to fill in the space a little bit more. So this is how the dining room looks. I think it turned out really beautiful. That chandelier that you can see in my dining room, my sister actually bought that for me at the ReStore and it was $25. So I think it's just beautiful and you can find such nice pieces at such a discounted price. And once you just clean them up, they can look brand new again. So that's one of my favorite pieces in this room as well as my buffet server. And I also really like those candle holders on the wall. And there's my puppy Holstein. He is always close when I'm decorating or doing anything in the house. So he had to make his little cameo on this video. I hope you enjoyed today's video friends. I'm so happy that you're here. And if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and like this video. And if you are one of my followers, I'm so grateful to have you. And I love hearing from each and every one of you where you live, just tidbits about yourself. So thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really appreciate you all. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Until the next video friends, take care, God bless.